Hey guys, it's Ellie and welcome back to Beauty Hacks. Fail or Holy Grail, where we test Pinterest beauty hacks and find out if they're a fail or a Holy Grail or a Holy Fail. Today we are doing DIY powder foundation, which is awesome because I've gotten tons of requests for this in the past few weeks, so it's obviously a big deal and it's pretty cool because it's all made of food things. And I believe, even though that there's a lot of ingredients, that you probably have most of them, if not all of them, in your kitchen already. So without further ado, let's go ahead and talk about what you need for this hack. For this hack, you will need cornstarch, cocoa powder, ground ginger, ground sage, ground nutmeg, ground cloves, an oil of your choice. I chose almond oil. You can also use lavender or something like that. And finally, something to apply it with. So now that we've got that out of the way, let's go ahead and move over to our Fairly Holy Grail testing station. Let's get mixed in. Let's try to make this thing and I'll see you back here to put it on my face. Okay, so we're gonna mix this in a bowl. And the first thing that we add is two tablespoons of the cornstarch. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put that in there. Next up is a fourth teaspoon of the cocoa powder. And then a fourth teaspoon of the nutmeg. And then for these last three, the pin says to do it in small amounts until it matches your skin tone. So I'm gonna go ahead and start whisking, whisking what we have and then we'll go from there. And if you don't have a whisk, you can do this with a fork. You just have to mix these dry ingredients together somehow until they're well combined. All right, so just doing a check on my skin of how it looks. You know, it's hard to tell right now, obviously, but it's, you know, too light and we need to add some something to make it more my skin. So let's add some more things. We're gonna start with cloves. Maybe some sage going in there. That was probably too much, we'll find out. And let's go ahead and do some ginger as well. So doing a check, still looks too light to me. So I'm gonna just continue adding some different colors and whisking until I figure out the best color combination or something close. And obviously if you're doing this at home, then it's easiest to just test this right on your face if, so you get the best you know, results of what it looks like on your actual face not your hand. So if you're at home, do it on your face, but because we're here, I gotta do it on my hand. So we're just gonna keep checking and I'm gonna start checking with this powder brush just because I think it'll give me a little bit more knowledge of how it's looking. Okay, so I'm feeling like this is close enough, at least for testing purposes. So we're gonna get to the final step now, which is to add 10 drops of your oil of choice. That did not come out as drops at all. So let me just whisk that together and we'll hope for the best. We're just winging it as always. All right, once you've matched your skin color and it's fully mixed up, you can go ahead and move it into a container of your choice. I'm gonna use this empty little candle jar that I cleaned out. That's always a good option to keep pretty much anything in. All right, and here is our DIY foundation. Let's go ahead and move back over there so we can get it on my face and find out if this is a fail, a holy grail, or a holy fail. All right, so we've got our powder foundation here. I'm gonna use this little spongy bit to put it on my face and I'm kind of nervous about it. It's, I don't know, this is just weird, but it's great. So let's go ahead and do this. I'm gonna get a mirror and start applying this. But before we do, let's take a before picture because I don't have any foundation on, so we should have something to compare to at the end. All right, here we go. All right, I think we're done. Let's get an after picture. All right, so is this a fail, a holy grail, or holy fail? Let's talk about pros and cons. Pros, it goes on just like every other kind of makeup. It doesn't have any problems with blending or application or anything. It's perfectly wonderful and smooth and great. Another pro, you know exactly what's going on in your face, very natural, especially if you buy like good quality organic spices and stuff. You know what's going on in your face, that's worth something. Con, it's super hard to get your perfect color. I still don't know if I got the perfect color. I was just kind of winging it and I feel like it's probably still not the right color, but I blended it to death so that it would just like match my face and that means I could have rubbed all of it off. I don't know. Another con, it smells crazy like Christmas. If you have anything other than super light skin, it's probably gonna have a really strong scent because you're gonna have to use more of the colored spices. The cornstarch itself smells like nothing, but every other spice that we put in there smells very strong. So right now, all I can smell is the nutmeg and the cloves, and it's just very overwhelming. 
so I don't know it's it's bothering me I don't really want it to be on my face longer than this moment so that's a huge con for me however it doesn't smell bad it just smells strong for me it's a holy fail and I'm not the best judge of this because I have super dry skin so powder foundation already just isn't my favorite thing because it makes my skin look more dry but we have pretty equal pros and cons and so you know that means holy fail so I would love to know if any of you guys make your own foundation at home, if you're going to try this, do you like it, do you hate it, always let me know in the comments down below. I love to know what you guys think. And besides that, if you want to request more hacks, find me on Twitter and tweet me what you want to see and we'll do it. So guys, have a wonderful day. I love you so much and I thank you for watching. Bye.